Hello, test, test, one, two, three. Hello, test, test, one, two, three. Ah. Welcome back, Fendi Dash. I'm Fendi. Call me Fendi. My channel is for Fendi Dash. Fendi Dash. How are you all? How are you, Fox? How are you, friends? All right. This time around, we have a very important topic. Actually, if you are a student, of course. If you are an entrepreneur, small or medium, CEO of the company, or maybe a husband in the family, if you are a leader, all right. And this is very important to everyone. Talking about what? And management. The topic today I'm bringing forward to you is military strategies in daily life and the doctrine, retention, applied and authored by Army Ancient General Corps. So guys, pay attention to this edition. This is an introduction. Make sure subscribe, subscribe this channel. I'm explain to you. It has about thirteen chapters, and I'll do review chapter by chapter. So guys, even though the instruction is very important, let's see, let's listen. Let's we watch out. Let's learn. Okay, go. Findi dash. Ah, uh, everyone, see you again. All right, let's straight to the point. Okay, military strategies in daily life. Hi guys, hi friends, hi folk, hi everyone, hi everyone. Is this important or is this not important? All right, you answer by yourself. All right. Okay, to me, in wherever our daily life, we need to make a decision. Decision, whether small, whether big, whether medium matters, is a still decision. Why many people fail? Why a lot of people fail? In fact, myself also I fail many many times. Okay, due to one reason, based on my observation, people fail because why? People fail to plan. People don't have a very very good strategy. Don't talk about big thing. Just talk what to eat. Sometimes we ought to fail. We shop to go. And it, and it. That's what the dishes we have. Am I right? Am I right? Or am I wrong? All right. Forget about it. Now let's relearn. It. Before that, appreciate this channel, guys. Do subscribe. Subscribe now. Share with people. Let's relearn. But to me, knowledge is everything. Even we are not superior people, but we must think that we are like superior. All right. Okay, let's go. Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu or Sun Wu, Sun Wu. This is a story. Sun Wu is a Chinese ancient military general during the Chinese dynasty. Uh, King Wu at the located at the uh, province of China. We call it King Wu. All right. During the time, it was about five. Hundred plus minus five hundred forty-four before century BC. Okay, uh, Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu has been pointed by King of Helu at the province of Wu uh, as an advisor to train their army. Because why? King of Helu has a very or I can say small troops for me, whereby he need to fight with 
other state of district whereby people have thousands, thousands, hundred thousands of troops of army whereby King of Honolulu only own less than uh, got thousand, thousand, less than fifty thousand uh, troops of army. So he need advice and assistance of uh, someone that's very great, superior, good in war tactic. Okay. What happened to Sun Tzu? Okay. This topic, Sun Tzu, the art of war, is, is a rhetorician, philosophy, composed and author. Most people believe thousand, thousand years ago, did by Sun Tzu. Whereby the real name is Qing Chang. All right. He was born in uh, 544 before century, last, and he died is at 496 before century. Okay. Now, uh, because whatever I'm doing now is only, this is only introduction. Under the art of war, it has uh, 13 chapters, whereby for my next review, for my next video, I do it chapter by chapter. So for this time round, it's only introduction. Yeah? This introduction. Okay. For Sun Tzu, uh, to him, the war is a matter of life or death. So it's fair. Sun Tzu, the art of war. Uh, Stephen Kaufman, Kaufman is a Hanshi Tendan, holder of the highest ranking attainable in the martial arts, is an acknowledged founding father of American Karate, he is the founder of the widely recognized Dojo no Hobi School of the Snake and the author of Mashu Shashi books of Five Rings, the definitive interpretation of Magi Moto Masushashi classic book of strategy. So my points, my what you call it, my evidence based on this book. All right. All right. The most important, the main uh, ideology of Sun Tzu is understanding your opponent is crucial. Understand your enemy is by to understand yourself. Okay. And avoid what is strong attack what is weak. Okay, today, a part of this uh, doctrine, I can say it's a doctrine, uh, has been applied in many, many colleges, actually in military college around the world. Okay, very beautiful part of his recitation. Don't you know that most of our organization apply his technique, especially very crucial during the 1959 until 1975, do you know what was happened in the world? It's a Vietnam war against US. Uh, the general of Vietnam doing guerrilla war fight against US army. And they uh, technic um, technically, America says that he won the battle, but uh, uh, I can see reality Vietnam won the war. All right. Okay. And then apply in so many wars. Example, World War II, whereby, whereby German attacked Normandy against Great Britain. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, George, not George Washington at the time, George Washington, I think, uh, uh, not George Washington, uh, what is at the time? Uh, uh, UK president applied that we believe that he applied Sun Tzu technique. All right. And more or less in the civil war happened in US at Pennsylvania, whereby the president at the time also applies Sun Tzu technique. Okay, forget about it. That is too big matter. And now what our main concern is the military strategies in our daily life. Okay, in our daily life, it's very important. Okay, this what you should focus on, I will explain to you detail, chapter by chapter. Number one, we are talking about this uh, Sun Tzu principle is uh, consideration. Whenever we want to do something, we have to prepare. We have to put into in consideration, write it down, and estimation for war. War means something that you are going to, uh, is a problem that you need to solve. Okay. Number two, chapter two, preparation for war. Meaning, if you have a problem, you need to be prepared. What is pro, what is what is con for you to solve your problem. Chapter three, the nature 
of attack. If you want to go deep, if you want to settle the problem, make sure there is the nature. What is the consequences that we have to get ready in our hand? Chapter 4, how to think of war. How to solve our problem. I'm going to elaborate to you uh, after this, okay? Chapter 5, using the power of heaven, meaning uh, resources, whatever problem we want to settle. Example, at school, teacher need to settle the uh, naughty student. Make sure, collect the information, the student character, everything, the, pa the father, the mother, the parents, the sibling information in order to settle the issue. You cannot simply blame and attack the children, for example, yeah? Chapter number six, fortitude and frailty. I'm going to explain after this. Chapter seven, manipulation of circumstances. How to do manipulation on the certain, certain issue. Chapter eight, variation of reality in war. So everything that is subdued, subdued, how? War means problem. How to settle the subdue of the problem? Chapter 9, the virtue of changing position. We cannot have one strategy. We should opt two or three option strategy. Chapter 10, control and maintenance of the territory. Your problem has, how big is your problem? How to control your problem? Chapter 11, conducting and managing campaign. Of course, you have certain technique to solve your problem. And chapter 12, fierceness and combat, also related to problem. The last part is chapter 13, spies and traitors. During World War II or any world war, of course, every troop or every delegate, they have their own spy. They got four types of spy, I explain to you after this. In fact, our daily life, the way back to the point, military strategies in daily life. Okay, we daily life example. We are going for interview example. Before we go for interview, let's say we are looking forward like senior manager. We are aiming we interview for the post of senior manager. This is a problem. Why the problem? We need to compete for other people. What this doctrine says that spies and traitors, for example, we are not the only one suit for the post. Got many, many, maybe in terms of five people, ten people, or many people, for example. But how good is your correct claim with it? How good is your experience? What is spies? You need to get information from the insiders, the criteria that needed by that company. Make more curriculum, uh, we call it curriculum uh, with more organized. And you are more well prepared. Who fantastic this addition. Okay, guys, this is only introduction. I'll come back to you next round on chapter one, consideration and estimation for war. Means that consideration and estimation to solve our problem. Okay guys, happy day. I'm waiting for you now. Subscribe for this very, very important topic. Okay. See you again. Love you all. Findy Dash. Findy Dash.